in the Mystery Mountains, we can encounter the awe and beauty of the island's vastness. It's where we go to connect with the transcendent and spiritual, plug into the scale and magnitude of life in the company of the great teachers, literature and practices from throughout space and time. I had to write again because I've just returned from the most awe-inspiring and soul-nourishing trip to the mountains. I found a guide who does treks up to see sunrise from the highest point on the island, so a few of us went together. I didn't know the others. While I was expecting the sunrise to be the moment of awe, it was actually some of the moments along the way that filled my soul. Hearing stories from the other travellers about their reasons for being there, reminding me of the rich, vast worlds everybody has inside them. Having the time as we walked to hear and share our stories, such a gift. We also stumbled on some incredible scenes, clouds gathering beneath us, the rich array of colours in the flowers all around us, and the animals that we could hear and see along the way. I take so much for granted. There's something about trekking up to the Mystery Mountains that feels like the lens across my vision is gently pulled back and I can see it for what it is. Ridiculous. Beautiful. The gift of this moment, this life, of being here now in something so much bigger than me across the dimensions of space and time, but which is experienced in small microcosms of beauty. I felt more able to savour it all. The desire to bottle it wasn't there like it has been in the past. I just allowed myself to be in the flow of the moment, trusting that even though this is a fleeting glimmer, it is one of many that I will continue to receive for the rest of my life. I freaking love this place. <laughs> 